Hey guys, we're here in Microsoft Flight Simulator and I want to talk about how to get wing views in the simulator. I see this question come up quite a bit, so I want to set the record straight on how this is done in August 2020 as the sim has recently released. So we're here in our A320 and we'll come up to the camera option. And if you click external, uh, this isn't what we're doing yet. I just want to show you how to turn off the HUD because that, that comes up a lot too. So if you go to general and then you come over to camera, scroll down you're going to find instrument heads up display HUD and if you turn that off that will remove all of those instruments from the external view then you make sure you hit apply save and then resume but what we're doing is going to be in the showcase mode so we'll come up to showcase and you see down at the bottom list here you have fixed camera we're going to extend the window a little bit just to see the list because there's quite a long list on a lot of these aircraft and it's typically going to be at the bottom. External 12 and 13 will give you some wing views in the A320neo. And you get two in this plane. And then of course you have a bunch of other kind of external wing views that you can add to. But these are the, uh, the cabin ones that I think a lot of people are looking for. Now the same thing is going to be done in the 747 and the 787. We'll take a look. Go over to showcase fixed camera and they seem to always be at the bottom of the list and for the 747 you get three 16 uh, 14 through 16 will give you um, the wing views unfortunately you can't move throughout the cabin in these aircraft yet these heavy uh, aircraft you can in the GA ones which we're, we're about to go into uh, but I think once the payware aircraft come out I think the developers are going to make it available to uh, move around the cabin because that's always how it's been historically in the other sims with those aircraft so for now though we just have these fixed views looking out the window now the other unfortunate thing is I don't think we can map these to keys now you can map some of the fixed cameras but the list stops at 10 and as you saw a lot of these are beyond 10 so you wouldn't really be able to map it so the only way to do it is you can map 10 and then I guess you could hit the, the key to go to the next camera, keep going down to a few of them, and that's how you can do it. So lastly, I want to show you how to get into the cabin of a GA aircraft. Now we're in the TBM. If you come over to the fixed camera and look at the external list, you do not have one inside of the cabin. And if you go to the external view, you don't have any there either. So you need to go over to showcase camera drone, click that. Slow your drone speed and your rotation speed. And then now we're going to move towards the cabin. I do this with a controller. I recommend the showcase camera you use with a controller if you can. Works the best. You can use your keyboard, but it's just the best with a controller. So now we're moving inside the cabin. And this works really good when you're on the ground and when you're at level cruise. Right now I have the AI flying it and they tend to bounce the plane around a lot and the camera or the plane kind of moves around the camera point and uh, that is kind of a clunky way to do it but this is just the only workaround I know right now to get wing views in the GA aircraft so we're able to do it it's just it it just bounces around a lot right now but like I said if you're on the ground or once you're at cruise and you're level you're not moving around too much it does work pretty good but that's the only way to do it so these are how you get the wing views right now in Microsoft Flight Simulator I'm sure somebody's going to make a camera app uh, somewhere along the, the way, either sooner or later. But this this will improve. I think we're going to have a lot more options to do. It's just, this is just part of, um, of uh, getting started with this simulator. So there's your wing views. Have fun with those. See ya on the next video.